Chelsea travel north to take on Manchester City, aiming to make it two wins from two as they look for a fifth consecutive Women's Super League title. The Blues kicked off their season with a 2-1 win over Spurs last time out. City beat West Ham despite finishing the game with ten players. Erin Cuthbert makes a 200th appearance for Chelsea. For Jesse Fleming, it's a 100th as Emmy Hayes' side faced Gareth Taylor's team. And City looking to start here on the front foot. That's neatly done. Opportunity to get the cross in as well. Clear to the edge of the area. And this is Raw to take the shot on. Tomasovic will make the save. It was comfortable enough for the Chelsea keeper. Takes a deflection here on the way through Bright's header. Manchester City with a corner. Chelsea will look to deal with this. But it's going to come straight back in that Chelsea penalty area here. Again, the defensive header is good. Chester down, and this is Hemp to cut across the ball, and Mosevic again makes the save. That's a better stop. Really good technique here, just cutting across the ball. It was goal bound, but for the intervention of Mosevic. Well, City have been by far the better side in these opening exchanges. Fowler on there from that right hand side. Chloe Kelly to take a touch and it's Kelly's shot and Manchester City lead well it had been coming there is no doubt about that Mary Fowler on that right hand side played an infield and there was just no challenges on Chloe Kelly it's a really good hit this though take nothing away from the City player it dips and swerves and just over Musovic's head fine strike the edge of the pole. Oh, did it take a slight deflection? It might have done, you know, from Jess Carter. It did. And that sent it spinning over the head of Mosevic. Chelsea looked to break on this near side. Oh, that's a little late. That's Alex Greenwood, the Manchester City captain, who is late. Fleming has gone down, and it's a yellow card here. No real surprise that the caution has been issued by Emily Heaslip. James. I haven't really seen anything of Chelsea coming forward so far. Fleming determined to change that, it would appear. And here she goes again. Can she get the cross in? Greenwood with better defensive work, certainly. Good run from Fleming. Quick one, two. A little bit of space inside the penalty area. Credit City for their defensive work. Good block from Greenwood. James. And still, and just get the shot in. And City can't clear at the moment. It's Ingle with a header. It's Keating with a save. Terrific stop. And City smuggled to safety. Much better from Chelsea. Really good stop from Keating this. She gets down well, doesn't she? Onto this near side. Oh, that's a bit awkward. And it's a Manchester City free kick found the rhythm yet Chelsea that's been the problem so far and Greenwood delays she's got options left right and a little further forward you can hear the coaching staff there are options over on that right hand side but Alex Greenwood is taking a time oh the referee's not happy now then Greenwood's already been booked she's taken the free kick she's in real trouble this is a second yellow and it's a red well, how long did she take over the free kick? You can see that there's protests from the Manchester City players, but, well, really, Greenwood should know better. Gareth Taylor is not happy. Alex Greenwood has been sent off here, this Manchester City captain, for time-wasting. Second yellow. And she delays, she delays, and then eventually... Emily Heaslip produces the second yellow and then the red. And Greenwood is off and City are down to 10 players for the second successive WSL match. Chelsea have got three in and around the penalty area. Fischl is one of them, got a toe poke to it, but not quite enough to send it into the corner. It was a difficult opportunity, really. Neat ball from the left-hand side, just stretching to get there. 
good touch. But initially, Brighton will play it back. This is Lauren James aiming for the corner. You can see what she was trying to do. City eventually will clear. It was one of those. Plenty of players inside the penalty area. She thought she could find a way through here, but it ricochets away. Much better from Chelsea. This numerical advantage surely will tell at some stage. City will clear. Cuthbert to take a touch. Oh, that's really good technique. It was always going over. It was a difficult chance. She took it down so well. Not easy. First touch was good. Second just over. Really good technique, though. She's such a skillful player. Kelly gets the cross in, takes a deflection. Chelsea have a corner, an opportunity here. Lauren Hemp isn't happy with something. Does she believe it should not be a corner kick? Well, certainly took a deflection. And for the descent, Hemp is in the book. There you can see. James will step over and another. So good on the ball. Here she is again to line up the shots. Oh, he's in the crossbar. So close to an equaliser, Lauren James. This is what she is capable of. It's a really good hit. Spinning and curling and dipping, but not quite dipping enough. James again, away from Hemp. Struggling to get away from Hemp, who brings down James and Hemp's in real trouble. And City are in danger of going down to nine here. It's a red card. She can have no complaints whatsoever. She's brought down Lauren James and Hemp is off and City down to nine. It goes from bad to worse for Manchester City, but they still lead. It's a yellow card offence all day long. Hemp goes. He just wants it down the line. Here she is. I'm sure racing inside the penalty area. Here she is over the crossbar. Big chance, really big opportunity for Manchester City. Down to nine players very late on, nearly made it two. This with a cross, Bunny Shaw couldn't keep it down. Should have been two. Time is running out. James to curl inside the area. Right with the header, hits the crossbar. It's come to Kerr. You always expect Sam Kerr to hit the target. But on this occasion, she doesn't. What an opportunity. The seconds are ticking away here. Right with the header. It's an awkward one. Keeper beaten, I think. Kurt doesn't quite catch it. Chelsea's search for a leveller goes on. Can't be too many minutes left. They've added on time. Right with the header. Keating with a save. Unbelievable stuff. City can't clear. Wrighton can score. Guru Wrighton. Right at the end. Incredible. Chelsea just would not give it up. They dug deep and they've got their equaliser. They would not be denied here. Right with the header. What a save that is. But City couldn't clear. And Wrighton was on hand to fire in. And it's 1-1 and it's thoroughly deserved. A real scramble. Guru Wrighton though. So often in the right place at the right time, scores again. And Chelsea hunting an unlikely winner here. And the looping header from Kerr strikes the foot of the post. Unbelievable. Chelsea, with seconds remaining, nearly win it. It just doesn't loop in. It hits the frame of the goal. Emma Hayes can't believe it. Last chance maybe for Chelsea here. So many Chelsea players inside the area. That's well collected by Keating. And that is full time. An incredible game. Manchester City ended the fixture with nine players. Chelsea scramble a deserved point. It's finished here. Manchester City won. Chelsea won.